Hey guys, um, my good friend Miguel Stilmanos, he always asks me how I make up my uh, potting mix. Um, frequent question from Patrick Knoll as well. So I'm going to show you guys how I make up my potting mix. I basically um, do this for everything uh, that I grow. This 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 uh, suits basically everything I grow and it's really simplistic and it's not that expensive. So what I use is one bag 50 litres of this, this is the best shit you can buy at Bunnings, um, Osmocote Premium Plus Potting Mix. And my secret ingredient, which I think is awesome. So that's 50 litres. Oh fuck, that's heavy. This is uh, 20 kilos of river sand that I buy from the, like the concrete section of Bunnings. And it's just river sand or else you'll see on the online or in your readings uh, an ingredient called CSS or coarse sharp sand. This is basically the stuff. Um, some people rinse it, I don't. And same as some people pick out all the woody bits out of their pocking mix, I don't find that a waste of time. That's myself anyway. Um, I don't find it, you know, hinders or whatever my progress, but this will grow me everything from um, lofts, areas to acacias and other trees and shit like that. I use it for everything. It's easy. And this is my other ingredient that I put in. I just put a pinch of blood and bone in each pot when I put up. So anyway, this is what I do. Rip up your, uh, oh crap, potting mix bag, <laughs> probably with a knife. And you just dump that in your wheelbarrow that I've got here. It's just an empty wheelbarrow. Get a shot of that ash, can you stand up? It's not bad. It's it's a little bit woody, but you know, it's not bad. This you could plant tricks straight into. Tricks here wouldn't give a shit, you know, but um to bulk it out, make more of a mix, and this is where I control my drainage, because as you know, drainage is important. The more river sand I put in, the better the drainage. And the stuff I like about this, if you've ever unpot cacti with this shit, the roots love it. Like, I think sand's really important. Oh well, sand-like structures anyway for the roots to lock into the pot. When the roots are locked in, the plants seem a lot happier and they do their own thing. Whereas I, I used uh, coco coir on cacti and it's shit because they're not anchored in and they're not happy. Then it's just a matter of getting your hands dirty and getting the feel for your mix and getting the feel of what drainage feels like. And you, you know, you gotta use some elbow grease and hook in. It depends on how fit you are and how much you wanna mix this up. This is wet as. I had these bags on me for a week during that rain we had. And it's hard work, but if you do get use it straight out of the bag when you buy it, it's not like hectic as this is. This is getting better. Oh, you gotta get right in there because all your heavy shit will be on the bottom. And at least it's all about feel, you know, feeling your mix and feeling, I reckon, I love doing it bare-handed because you get to learn, you know, what, what's a good mix. And you get to feel the drainage you want, that you want in. And, and the more drainage you want, the more sand you put in. I mean, that's as far as I can be stuffed doing this. And, you know, I'd even almost add a bit more potting mix to this because, can you get a close up of that? It's very sandy, that's cool. That, that'll still hold water and will still do the purpose that I want to do today. But, if I had another bag of uh, potting mix, I'd put a little bit in. That's all I got. And that I'm gonna plant straight into in my pots and I'll make another video of me potting up where I use my blood and bone. So that's how I make my mix and man, I reckon it's the shit.